So Baza asks, uh, what happens if we fail, or our experimenter friends at the LHC fail in discovering the Higgs boson and fail to discover supersymmetry? Um, well, they're really separate questions. Uh, we sort of know um, that if they do not find the Higgs boson as expected, as the standard model um, predicts, then they have to find something else, uh, perhaps quite different from the standard model, perhaps just a simple variation of the standard model. Um, but something has to be there, uh, we believe, um, just based on what we already know uh, and have measured with, with uh, credible precision and the laws of mathematics and logic. So we're pretty sure that, that, well, I'm sure, pretty sure that the Higgs boson is predicted by the standard model and by supersymmetric models will be found, but if not, something, will de something even more interesting will definitely be found. Um, and that would give us lots of new information. Uh, if we don't find supersymmetry at the LHC, uh, that does not really contradict anything but the various, in my opinion, rather strong clues uh, to the existence of supersymmetry in, at, at LHC energy range, but clues can be wrong. And um, it would not necessarily contradict what we already know and have measured. It would be unfortunate because uh, the absence of new discoveries, we uh, will not have the direct clues that we so desperately need. Uh, there are many other ideas and floating around uh, which we could pursue theoretically, but unless we have direct experimental uh, indications of their validity, new discoveries, new confirmations, um, it's going to make it very difficult for theorists.